Welcome back to Fox 8 News of the Morning. 823 is your time. It is a terrific Tuesday morning in the city. Time to kick it with uh, Mr. Crumpton this morning. Yeah, he's had a wild and a crazy morning this morning. Wow. Right? That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look so out what behind else is you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, Kenny, I love the mask. Almost, thank you very much. Yeah, Chris hooked me up with the mask. How about that? Pays to know the CEO of the uh, <laughs> Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Okay, so here's a well. Here's how you practice rhino social distancing. You get in the rhino exhibit with no rhinos. So <laughs> that's the only reason I'm in here now. Speaking of the man himself, Captain Kuhar is right here. Chris, good to see you. Okay. All right, so this is the new exhibit back here. I'm assuming. This is where people will see the rhinos come in, right here, correct? Yeah, so this is our new Walt Culber rhino barn. Mm -hmm. So that's where our male forest is right now. So he would come through this uh, line of bollards through the chute system here, yeah. and then into this beautiful new rhino yard. And this is almost double the space of the last one, correct? Yeah, so this, this exhibit's even larger than the other one. So we've more than doubled the amount of space available to our rhinos. And some of the features as we walk and talk, yeah. Now, this little area here, this is specific, this little slab, correct? Yeah, so this is just a feeding pad. So rhinos, the black rhinos are browsers, so they're more used to eating stuff off of bushes and shrubs. Yeah. So when we feed them things like this, we don't want everything to be on the ground because we don't want them to start eating up a bunch of dirt and rocks right, and things right, like right. that. So we put a nice little pad in there so they can eat the alfalfa hay and the, and the, the Timothy hay off of there um, without getting a lot of that dirt and, and, and stone inside them. All right, and this looks like a pretty cool rhino HQ if we had a, such a thing. Yeah. Now, what is this, sir? Well, we got to be able to provide shade. You know, one of the things that the animals are going to want to do is they're going to thermoregulate. They can tolerate a lot of heat, but they want to be able to, to get into a cool space if mm -hmm. they need to. So this little shade structure, we got some uh, heating yeah. in here so we could provide that heat in the in the shoulder months and into the winter. Gotcha. We've got some misters in the front here so we can cool them off okay. um, if, if that's necessary. So it's a, a nice little space that the pad allows them to get, uh, you know, again, off the rocks and the dirt. We can put, put some food here. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some waters and another feeding pad to the left. Now, this thing is pretty weird looking. I got to tell you, Chris, what is this? Yeah, this is uh, the total gym rhino style, <laughs> right? So, yeah. so this is uh, this is an enrichment device. You know, rhinos like to rub and push on things. Uh -huh. So what this is, is it's a big log, but it's got a, basically a swivel hinge on top. Yeah. So they can push it around in circles. If we were just to, to, to tether it into one spot without a hinge, they would anything. break it off. <laughs> yeah, you ready? Let's go. <laughs> we can't even move it. But they'll move this thing around like it's a twig, won't they? Yeah, yeah, that's what wow. they do, right? That is pretty awesome. And they also, you know, they use that for their horns as well, I believe. Yeah, they're going to rub their horns. Yep. They're going to, you know, scratch their side. They like to get their backs and sides scratched. So they'll, you know, kind of use it as a scratching post. This one and even that one laying back there. Back here. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. And then uh, the 17th, a big day for you guys because? Well, on the 17th, we're going to be reopened to the public for foot traffic. We've been doing our Cruise the Zoo event for the mm -hmm. past couple of weeks. Um, but we're going to be open to foot traffic on the 17th. And the Cruise Zoo starts, the last one is this uh, week here, correct? Yeah, so Wednesday through Sunday this week. You yeah. can go online, futureforwildlife.org slash okay. cruise. Uh, buy your time ticket. you got to buy it for a day and a time. Uh, and the only way you can get that is online. So okay. we encourage you to get on there. There's still tickets available for this last few days um, before we reopen next week. Thank you, Chris. Well, you've seen it, a rhino jungle gym. <laughs> nice. There it is. That's the rhino jungle gym. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that's not, you can't get that at Home Depot, kids. You can't get that. <laughs> no. You may pick it up at Lowe's, though. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kenny.